guys, how you doing? Minasan san konnichiwa. My name is Cheese and welcome to my channel. Today, I'll be reacting to Demon Slayer Season 2, Episode 13. Or Episode 6 of the Entertainment District arc. And yeah, I'm so excited. I just saw a little bit, like a tiny, tiny bit of like some thumbnails on YouTube. So I really, really try to avoid it, you know. I haven't been on the internet ever since the episode came out. But it just... The episode always comes out at a very unfortunate time for me. Like it always comes out like during the evening or during night where I live. So that's already like too late for me to record another video and edit at the same time. So that's why I'm always a little bit on the late side with uploading my videos. But yeah, I really try to avoid anything, any spoilers. So I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm still like super excited about this episode. We're gonna get flashy. Oh man, like the previous episode was already very hype. We already saw Uze in action, we saw Zayn's in action, we saw Inosuke in action, and even Uze's wives, like Suma, Makio. Yeah, Hinatsuru is sick, so she she's not in action. But yeah, it was already super hype, and you can already see that Suma is already like people's favorites out of the three wives. Um, but I actually like all three of them so far. Like we haven't seen much of Hinatsuru yet. But they all seem super nice and super great as characters. So I really want to see more from them. But yeah, we'll see what's going to happen next. I'm super excited. So without further ado, let's hop right into the episode. So let's go. Alright, I'm ready. So I'm going to say episode in three, two, one. Oh shit. The fact that it's so quiet, like no soundtracks. And it feels like she's starting to get serious. Alright, oh yeah, we already saw this in the previous episode. The fake rainbow. Yeah, but she still lacked speed, which is the thing. She's super fast. Uh, now the soundtrack's coming. still like fire the 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 sun breathing is taking such a high toll on Tanjiro's body so he's super out of breath already like he's super tired well you can see the ducky still like super normal you know she hasn't had to put much effort in to the fight yet but let's see Uze is now reunited with his wives. Every they retrieved everyone, so this is time for the comeback, and I'm super excited. All right, here we go. Layered memories. Oof. 
Ooh, oh my god, now she's getting serious. Oh man! <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's already started super hyped. Oh my gosh. What? Oh. Oh my gosh. Does that know my <laughs> gosh? Does that make her stronger? Getting all her obby back? I think so. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh yeah, then she also got the memories from the obby she spread out. I see. I see. <gasps> she looks so different now. Now she looks more like a demon. With a different hair color. Oh no. Mister, you gotta stay inside. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's definitely going to go for the kills. <gasps> oh, shit. Wow, that man still got his hand cut and all the buildings got destroyed. Oh. There's a lot of deaths instantly. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Ducky doesn't care anymore. I mean. That was crazy. Even Tanjiro couldn't fend off that attack completely, so he got injured as well. Damn. Yeah, that was crazy. What? What's going on? Oh, that's Rangoku's father. Yeah, but he was also drunk and he was also still grieving over his son that he lost. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, that's not the way a father should act, but he was also struggling with a lot inside, you know? No. 
why are they trying to make me cry again? I'm getting all emotional again. Wow. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Like, he still wants to fight, you know? <gasps> He's just crying blood from his eyes. That's crazy. He caught up to her, even though she seemed like super fast. And he got her leg. Oh my goodness. Well, she can grow, regrow it anyways, but still. Oh my gosh. Is that the one who created the sun braving technique? I think. Muzan's memories. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, Ducky probably obtained a lot of blood from Muzan, so that makes sense that she sort of carries his memories as well. They're still here, okay. Well, yeah, they had to make sure that everyone's okay. <laughs> the mess of mice! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh man! I I love the serious Uzoe, but I also love this Uzoe, like a flashy <laughs> Lord thing, and yes. <laughs> And Zane's is still sleeping. Oh my gosh. Are those her memories from when she was still a human, maybe? It's like, fine, I've heard enough. Yeah, now she's much stronger than before. Oh! He 
just got through. Oh my gosh, we've never seen Tanjiro like this. He's so focused. <gasps> it's like he has his total breathing concentration. Or total concentration briefing, I mean. Oh my god! He's not even thinking about pain. Oh my gosh. Almost. Almost there. So he can even change her neck into an obby. Yeah. Look how focused he is and he's analyzing everything. See? Yeah, it's like he's mastered the, like the total concentration breathing combined with the sun breathing technique. God, she was even so close. <sighs> oh my god, so that was like his limit maybe? Yeah. Right. He's way past the point his body can handle at the moment. Oh man, but that was... Oh, hoo, hoo. I almost got tears in my eyes because of how hype it was. Oh yeah. She must have sensed how much his uh her brother was bleeding, you know, and how much he was hurting. <laughs> Nezuko. And Nezuko is much prettier than you. Oh. Oh 
holy shit. Oh my gosh. Oh shit. Yeah, she can't regenerate as fast. Go. Oh wow, her legs back already. Yeah. 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 Wow. Upper and caliber? Really? Wait a minute, she bit through the, the bamboo thing. What? What's going on? <laughs> what? What did she do? <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my goodness. Ugh. I'm shaking this whole episode. I'm speechless. Oh my goodness. Both both Tanjiro and Nezuko have shown like sides we've never seen before. I mean, Tanjiro went through a lot of training, to, so to see him having gotten stronger is not that surprising. But Nezuko, oh my goodness, like what was that form we saw? All these patterns over her body, she even grew a horn. Oh man. <sighs> Oof, oh man, I'm speechless. Ning ning. Monjiro! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> it's like impressive. <laughs> I love it that he's still calling Uze the god of festivals. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This whole episode. Oh my goodness. I know we still have a lot more episodes to come, but I can say for sure it was definitely the best episode of this season so far. It was super high and oh my goodness. I'm still shaking a little bit. Oh man. But it was so different from what I expected, you know, like from seeing the previous episode and the way they ended it, I thought we would get a lot more action from Uzui's side and Inosuke and Zaintsu maybe. But no, like the whole episode was really focused on Tanjiro and Nezuko in the end. This episode was so packed, so I fully, fully enjoyed it. Oh my goodness, this was so, so good. Where do I even begin to talk? I think what surprised or impressed me the most was seeing this new side of Tanjiro and Nezuko, especially Tanjiro. Like the way he was fighting against Daki, oh man. You could see like he was fully, fully, fully concentrated on killing Daki and cutting her head off. It was just so unfortunate that he couldn't pull through with it, you know? At the end he was just he was already like way way past his limit, but if he continued that attack, maybe he would have it would have killed himself. That's where he heard his sister's voice inside his head, like, Don't forget to breathe, you know? He was probably so focused that he already forgot how to breathe at that moment. It was so good. It was so so good. And then Nesco at the end. Oh my gosh. I have no idea what's going on. Like, how does she even do that? She's not a full demon. She hasn't consumed any human. So, she shouldn't be able to regenerate as fast as normal demons, right? But Ducky even pointed out that her regeneration speed is just as high as that of upper rank demons i'm like oh my gosh nezuko and then we even got to see all these patterns on her body she even grew a horn she even bit through that bamboo block she had in her mouth always right oh man i'm so i'm already super excited about next episode and see how that is gonna go like, Tanjiro and Nezuko both managed to really, really push Daki into a corner, you know? Like, in a previous episode, I was even saying, like, Daki is not even worried about anything. She's not even getting serious yet. But she is right now. Like, she really has to put up a fight against Tanjiro and Nezuko. It is crazy. Wow. And she even got all the obby back, right? So now I also understand what that obby demon was at the pre in the previous episode, right? And within the within that storage space, I thought that was a different demon working under Ducky, but actually it was just a part of Ducky that she separated from the main body. So when she retrieved all the obby, she also retrieved the memories of the parts that were separated so that's how she discovered about Uzui so she also discovered that there's a Hashira there present as well so actually that made her just lose interest in Tanjiro in the first place like she didn't even bother about killing him anymore but wanted to go after Uzui but then Tanjiro got like super super I don't know what that even was like he was so serious oof it was probably like because of the rage, right? Like he saw these people killed for no reason. It wasn't even for getting eaten or something. They just got killed in the commotion. Like they were just innocent bystanders. So that's what Tanjiro got angry about the most, you know. They had nothing to do with this whole fight. But they still got killed in because of that. That's why Tanjiro got super serious. And then that's when that whole fight began. And oh my gosh, the animation was godly as always Whew. 
It was so, so good. It was so, so good. And then we even had that little flashback to the father of the Rangok family. And I think he was writing a letter to Tanjiro, right? Kind of apologizing for his behavior when they first met. And that he actually really appreciated Tanjiro for exchanging letters with the little brother. And really caring about the Rangoku family in general. So I liked that. I liked seeing that. And at first I was wondering why they were showing that flashback in the first place. But it is once again related to the whole sun breathing technique, right? Like he was explaining how Rengoku always were, was studying those books. Even though it wasn't much. There were only like a few volumes or something. But he still studied diligently to master the sun breathing technique or the fire breathing technique. I think they're kind of similar. Or at least the, the fire breathing technique is just the closest to the original, the sun breathing technique. So I really like that little flashback. It made me all emotional once again. And I, I know a lot of people hated the father, but I honestly never hated him. You know, I just could really understand where he was coming from. And of course he wasn't like a good example towards his son. But he also had a lot to deal with, you know? Like, he wasn't perfect. He had a lot of sorrow and grief that he had to process. So that's what he did through drinking a lot. So, you know, it isn't very admirable, but it is understandable. But yeah, oh man, this episode was so hype. It was so, so good. I'm still hot. I'm getting all red. Whew. I'm so happy. This episode was so good. I loved it. I really, really enjoyed it. And I cannot wait to watch this next episode already. We'll probably see a lot more Nezuko action as well. So I really cannot wait. But yeah, that's all about this episode. This was my reaction. I hope you enjoyed it. So if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you can see my other reaction videos, please check out my channel and subscribe. So in any case, thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.